Hi, my sun rays. It's your girl, Twan, and I am showing you all this beautiful hairstyle of mine. I put my hair in some lock loops last night, and I am so happy with this style. I got up this morning, got ready for church, and I decided that I was going to take you all with me today. And what a surprise, you guys. I want you guys to stay to the end because today's message was just for me. God spoke to me so many times during this message today at church. And I just thank God for his wonderful blessings and his confirmation. Look at your girl. Don't I look good, you guys? This is what 88.6 pounds of weight loss look like. Yes, your girl has got it off. 88.6 pounds of unnecessary weight and I am looking good. I am busy loving myself and putting me first. Oh, thank y'all. Continue to watch to the end.
partition. Is God telling Moses, Moses telling the people, Moses telling God what he told the people, God telling Moses what to tell the people. And what God tells him to tell the people is I'm going to give you meat in the morning, in the evening, and bread in the morning. And so it comes that quail comes in the evening and they have so much quail and they can eat quail. And in the morning, he says he's going to give them bread. Watch what happens here. And a dew falls, and the Bible says in chapter 16 that after the dew lifted, there were these frost-like things on the ground. And now remember, Moses had told the people that God was going to give them meat in the evening, bread in the morning. But this thing is now on the ground, and they look at it, and they call it manna. We have misconstrued what manna means, and we equate it with bread. That's the revelation we were supposed to get, but that's not the revelation they got, because manna in the Hebrew means what is it. They called it manna because they did not know what it was. Manna does not mean bread. Manna means what is it. God told them, I'm going to give you bread. They could not recognize God's provision, and they said, what is this? How many of us find ourselves in that situation where what God has given us is provision, but we don't recognize it for what it is? That was the situation this widow found herself in. I don't have anything, is what she said. And then she goes on to say, save a pot of oil. You do have something. You just don't see the value in what you have. All right, and so this is what we're doing and this is what it looks like. We come into God and say, God, give me more. Give me more of you. And God is saying, all right, I want to give you more. But when God goes to give us more, we don't have room for more because what he gave us the last time hasn't gone anywhere. All right. All right. Come on. This brother comes and says, God, give me more. He's sobbing and carrying on at the altar. I don't mean that person because you do do that sometimes. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I, he loved God. And he was saying around this church, y'all seen him. He was saying, but God says, I want to give you more. And God goes to, oh, I can't give him more because he hasn't used what I gave him the last time. This brother comes to God and says, God, give me more. God says, all right, son. What's the only difference? They all came to God. Yeah, they all said, God, give me more. God had more. But there was only one that had capacity to receive more. Why did he have the capacity? Because he had already emptied out what God had poured in him the last time. Listen, and don't you get jealous of the one that's giving the more. I'm mess with the people of God. But they'll look at this brother and say, he are. He are. Right, because he keeps coming to God empty. Because as God pours, he pours it out. He empties it out. God says, if you empty, I'll pour. If you empty, this is what God's saying to us, I'll pour. But if you're going to hold on to what I'm giving you, why would I give you more? You don't have capacity for more. And here's the thing. Sometimes we have all and we're trying to go into new places with old oil. God says you can't go there with that oil. Until you get to that out, I can't give you new because in that next season, it's going to take a new oil. And the only way you get the new oil is if the old oil has been poured out.
for the next available vessel. Yeah.